quick ace break tip. If you have a big sprite sheet of anything, especially useful for environments, you can hit control B to create a custom brush. Drag for the area you want. And then now you have a brush, just like if it was just plain, but you can paint whatever, whatever you had selected. So now I can just go in here and make this building look all nice, you know? Uh, uh, uh. And the other thing you can do, there's three options up here. Pattern aligned to source, pattern aligned to destination, and paintbrush. So what this means is when you paint uh, pattern aligned to source, it's going to give you a grid at the same place uh, as whatever you selected. So I got it from here. Yeah. So you see it like it'll continue that that spacing. Uh, if you do pattern aligned to destination, I believe you can start anywhere, but it'll still repeat the section that you had. So it's not lined up with the with the source that I had, but I can still paint it on a grid. And then if you pick paint brush, then it just keeps the continuous thing. So let's see, control B, select the brush. And then this, this kind of looks, you know, like this type of brush is a little more useful for making noise and stuff. So then if you have something really useful that you want to use all the time, you can control B, select it, and go up here to this little button brush type and you can save it and this will save it I believe it's saved there yeah um, so this will even work if you go into a new project and actually I'll still have access to all, all these old ones when you use a saved brush it's not going to give you the the colors of the original that like if I, if I do this one again, and I save this one, it's going to, if I switch to something else, right, and then I go back to the thing, it's not going to give me the original colors because it doesn't know what those are anymore, but, like, for stuff that, for stuff that the color you're going to want to change, like, now I want red bricks, and then I get to do that. Um, and, like, you can go here and see pattern aligned to destination, and I want to make whole section of brick like that but maybe I don't want it like so uh, so rigid you can make some tricks you know so that it looks a little bit more more natural um, it's especially good for like grids so if you want to if you want to do some shading my hot tip Make a little two point square like that, and then pattern align to source, and now you have a checkerboard. Checkerboard you can use anytime. Cool, right? Hope it helps.